Vandals hit a big billboard along I-80. Graffiti sprayed on a sign making the already controversial ad even more controversial. Some are even calling the graffiti offensive. The night team's Richard Sharp talked to the people who put up the billboard in the first place. Yeah, there are 10 of these signs all around town getting some looks, and they say, are you good without God? Millions are. They're all supposed to say the same thing. Well, not anymore. Spray painted in black, the words also lost may not seem like a big deal for most billboards, but for this one, it changes everything. Instead of a message for and by people who don't believe in God, it says millions are also lost. A message that offends many. They're saying because you don't believe in our religion, you will not be forgiven. And that's just definitely not right at all. David Honer is not religious. Cameron Lewis is. They both agree the graffiti is offensive. It is just sending the wrong message to a lot of Christians and to other people who like look at Christians. Making it worse, this billboard is in one of the busiest places, Interstate 80 in between Sacramento and Davis, where tens of thousands of drivers see it every day. And we we just simply want to be a part of society just like everyone else. Michael Krebsbach is part of the Sacramento Coalition of Reason, a group of atheists and agnostics who call themselves free thinkers. Their national arm is behind the billboards you see all over Sacramento. He says the graffiti is disappointing, but he's not surprised and he doesn't think it's an attack from religious people. I don't imagine the the religious side would want a person with a spray paint can speaking for them. I don't I couldn't take it as an attack from their side. Absolutely not. So far, this is the only billboard that has been vandalized locally. Krebsbach hopes it will be the last. You know, we're looking forward to a day where where our kind of billboard doesn't make the news. So they're getting a lot of looks and in some parts of the country these type of billboards are raising a lot of controversy in Cincinnati. One had to be taken down after the owner had threats. In Sacramento, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 319.